Choo Choo and friends in the magical carpet. Chee Choo Cha! One day, while watching Choo Choo and her friends enjoying the world of stories, Choo Choo's parents realized that the time had come to give them a very, very special gift. We have a gift for you. This book of magical tales. It's a very special book. Because when you use the magical power of your imagination, this book will take you to fabulous new worlds. Thank you! Chiku, Chica, and Cha-Cha, should we use the power of imagination and enter the magical world of our special book? Oh, oh yes. yes! Open, Open it, Choo Choo! Choo. Children, your magical words to open this door and enter an enchanted world are Chi, Chu, Cha. Chi, Chu, Cha! And that is how Chu Chu and her friends started off on their adventures in the magical world of stories. Today, they're about to meet Aladdin. Wow! We're in a desert! I wonder who we're going to meet today. Choo Choo and her friends were enjoying the silence of the desert when suddenly they heard a muffled cry for help. Help! Help me! Get me out of here, please! Gosh! Sounds like someone's in trouble. Whoever it is, is trapped under this rock. Look, we can use that stick to move the rock. Let's go for it with all our might. I'm Aladdin. Hi, I'm Choo Choo, and these are my friends, Chiku, Chica, and Cha Cha. Hold on, Aladdin. We'll help you out. Grab the stick, and we'll pull you out. Thank you, my little friends. You're welcome, Aladdin. But how did you get trapped in that cave in the first place? A wicked wizard put me in there. It's a long story. Tell, Tell us, please. please! And so began Aladdin's story. Aladdin was a very poor boy. His only friend in the world was his pet monkey, Plucky. You poor boy. The people of this town treat you badly. Come with me, I'll give you work. And I'll make you rich, too. You are so kind, sir. Tell me what I have to do. Come with me, but you must leave your monkey behind. Sure, sir. Uh, Plucky, wait here. I'll be back soon. And so, off Aladdin went with the merchant. The merchant took Aladdin far out into the desert. What Aladdin didn't know was that the merchant was actually a wicked wizard 
who had an evil plan up his sleeve. Now jump in there at once. You'll find a cave full of riches and treasures. You can take all you want, but first, you must fetch me an old lamp that's in there. Go! The cave was exactly as the wizard described it, full of treasures. Aladdin spotted the lamp, picked it up, and ran back to the opening where the wizard was waiting. He stuffed some jewels into his pockets. I've got the lamp, sir! Please, pull me out! Hand the lamp over to me first. Something told Aladdin not to trust the wizard. No! Get me out first, please! Well then, stay there forever! The wicked wizard got angry. He cast a spell and trapped poor Aladdin in the cave. Aladdin was sad and scared. He stared at the lamp in his hands and wondered why the wizard wanted something so old and dusty. He started rubbing the lamp to clean the dust, when the most amazing thing happened. What? Who are you? I'm the genie of the lamp. Thank you for rubbing it and calling me. Now you're my master. And I'll grant you your wishes. Command me, O oh master. Really? How about you get me out of this cave for starters? Wow! The lamp really works! Can you please find my monkey, Plucky, also? <laughs> Thanks, Genie. You're a good friend. But just one word of care, Master Aladdin. Never let the lamp get into the wrong hands. Oh, sure, Genie. And with the Genie's help, Aladdin's days of poverty were left far behind. He now lived in a splendid palace. But even though he was rich, Aladdin never forgot about helping the poor. Aladdin's fortunes did not escape the notice of the wicked wizard. He realized that Aladdin had discovered the lamp's secret. So he came up with an evil plan to steal the lamp. Ah. While Aladdin was out on business, the wicked wizard disguised himself as a poor traitor and arrived at the gates of Aladdin's palace. Pretending to exchange old lamps for new, the wizard called out to a cleaning lady who was working inside. Bring me a lamp that is old! Take a new one that shines like gold! New lamps for old! The cleaning lady looked at the old lamp that Aladdin kept by his bedside. And thinking that Aladdin would be very happy to have a shiny new one in its place, she picked it up and ran to the gates. Can I exchange this for that one, please? Of course, young lady. There you go. And then, in an instant, everything changed. Your wish is my command. 
Uh, master? <laughs> Genie, I command you to throw Aladdin in the cave and seal it. And his palace, his riches, and his pet monkey should all belong to me. As you wish, master. And that's how I lost everything and ended up here. Ah, I miss my friends, the genie and Plucky. I'm sure they miss me too. Oh, Aladdin, that's terrible. We want to help you get the lamp back and be with Plucky and the genie again. That's sweet, but look, that's my palace. If I go anywhere near it, the wizard will recognize me and do something terrible. I have an idea. What if we disguise ourselves as dancers with these scarves and try to enter the palace? Whoa, what a cool idea. Let's try it. Excuse me, kind sir. We're dancers from the far-off desert. We like to perform for the master of the palace. I'm not allowed to let anyone in. Now go before I throw you in prison. Shoo! Oh, I wish I was a monkey and could climb up these high walls. Wait a minute. Speaking of monkeys, Plucky lives inside of the palace, right? Aladdin, is there any way you can make contact with him? What a brilliant idea, Choo Choo. Well, I have a special whistle for him. If he hears it, he's sure to respond. Oh, Plucky, I missed you so much. Plucky, there's no time to lose. You have to help us get inside the palace and find the lamp. So, while Choo Choo and her friends distracted the wizard Plucky led Aladdin to the secret chamber where the wizard kept the lamp. I've got it! Now hurry up, Genie, my friend. Genie, please! Take the evil wizard away to a place where he can never cause trouble ever again. Your wish is my command, my friend Aladdin. Aladdin, this place is yours again. It's time for us to leave, Aladdin. We're so glad we could help. I'm so grateful to you. Please, accept this magic flying carpet as a parting gift. Just say the magical words, chi, chu, Cha, and it will take you on fabulous adventures. Oh, wow! Thanks, Aladdin! Bye-bye, Aladdin! Genie and Plucky! And so, Choo Choo, Cha-Cha, Chica, and Chiku 
left on their flying carpet for other magical adventures. Be sure to go with them. Look, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica are on their magical flying carpet. And they're off to the land of fairy tales. If you're ready for a fun ride, say Chi Chu Cha! Chi Chu Cha! One day, the magical carpet took Choo Choo and her friends to a place where there grew a very tall beanstalk that reached all the way up to the clouds. Wow, such a quiet place. I wonder who lives here. Suddenly, Choo Choo spotted a lady. Sitting alone and sobbing, Choo Choo ran to console her. Dear lady, why are you sad? The lady looked up at the kind faces of the children and told them what was troubling her. It's my son, Jack. He climbed up this beanstalk this morning, and he still hasn't returned. I'm scared something terrible may have happened. Up this beanstalk? Isn't it unusually tall? Yes, it's a magical beanstalk. Let me tell you how it all started. And so began the most amazing tale of Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and his mother lived in a tiny cottage. They were very poor and had no money. All they owned was a cow. One day, Jack's mother saw that there was nothing left in the house to eat. With a heavy heart, she realized that they would have to sell their cow. Jack, we have nothing to eat and we have no money either. The only thing left to do is to sell the cow. Please, take her to the market and sell her for a good price. In the market, a stranger walked up to Jack and offered to buy the cow. I'd like to buy your cow. She's a wonderful cow. How much will you pay me for her? I don't have any money, but I can give you these magical beans instead. Huh? Magical beans? Yes, they'll help you grow rich. Rich? Okay, all right then. And so Jack sold the cow for a handful of beans. When Jack showed the beans to his mother, she was not pleased at all. Oh, foolish boy. Our dear cow sold for a few beans. We will definitely starve. That night, Jack and his mother went to bed hungry, but while they slept, strange and magical things began to happen. Jack awoke to find that a huge beanstalk had grown where his mother had thrown the beans. A beanstalk. Gosh, it goes all the way to the clouds. Maybe the stranger was right. Maybe they were indeed magical beans. Mother, I'm going to climb it.
Enough! Come back down, Jack! I'm going all the way to the top, Mother! I'm going to see where it leads. But Jack hadn't returned. Don't worry. We'll go up the beanstalk and we'll go look for Jack. Won't we? Yes! Chee, choo, cha! Let's go! Choo choo, cha cha, chiku, and chika started to climb the beanstalk. Higher and higher they went, all the way up to where the beanstalk touched the clouds. And then, they were in for a big surprise. On the cloud stood a magnificent castle. A castle! Wow! Jack must be inside. Let's go look! When they entered the castle, Choo Choo and her friends noticed that everything there was enormous in size. And they soon found out why. Because in the castle lived a fearsome giant. And somehow, Jack had ended up very close to the giant. He was terrified that the giant might see him. The giant's table was laden with food, and among the dishes sat a beautiful golden hen. Suddenly, in a terrifying voice, the giant roared at the hen. Hen, lay me some golden eggs at once. I want to see them before I eat. Hurry up, or I will crush you between my teeth. Satisfied by the golden eggs, the giant now began to eat. And after his huge meal, the giant promptly fell asleep. Now is our chance to help Jack escape. Jack, we're here to take you back home. Your mother is worried about you. Hurry, let's go. to escape from the giant. <laughs> yes, he is very cruel to her. Don't worry, Hen. We won't leave you behind. Fee fi fo fum I smell the presence of some little ones. I know there are children in my castle. I'm going to eat them up! Let's head for the beanstalk! Quick! <laughs> they hurried down the beanstalk, and soon they reached the bottom. As 
they began to chop, the beanstalk magically disappeared and the giant turned into a pile of dust. Hooray! We're safe! Thanks, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica and Chiku. Thank you, brave children, for rescuing Jack. You're welcome! And this hen is for you. She lays golden eggs that you can sell. You'll never have to worry about money again. Thank you. You are the kindest children ever. And from that day, Jack and his mother lived happily ever after. That was fun! Now to our next adventure in Fairy Tale Land! If you want to go on another magical ride with Choo Choo and friends, say Chi Choo Cha! Chi Choo 